Hello YouTube, this is um How to Videos. And today I'm gonna show you how to make bullet shells come out of your gun. Like the gun shells come out of your gun in After Effects. Alright, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to where your 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 actor or whatever you're doing is shooting the gun, shooting the weapon. Like right there, see? And you go to the frame right after, let's say you have a muzzle flare, which I didn't I didn't do it right yet. Just right after that, and then you take the bullet shell. I got mine from Action Essentials. There's a bunch of people selling like free, like not selling, but like giving away uh, a lot of the footage away for free. Um, you just take, you shrink it down, shrink down the shell, and you put it right over to the side of your gun. And you shrink it down a little bit more, like I had to do right here. And then what you do is, yeah, you get it to fit just right, so it looks like it's in the shot. Okay, like it's it's part of the actual video. And I'm sorry for this crappy um, hypercam. Uh, if you guys have any, know of any good ones, and do it. What you're gonna do is you wanna hit the the keyframe, like the, you wanna hit P for position, and then go to the keyframe, like hit the clock stopwatch, hit keyframe on the first frame, and then you go forward about three or four frames, and you hit the keyframe again. See, like I did here. You wanna get the, you wanna move it off screen, the bullet, and then you take this little thing right here, this little dot. And you twist it so it looks more of a, like a curve, like because you you know, because you you don't want a bullet shell to shoot straight out, you know you don't want it to kind of curve out because you know it shoots out like that and then it goes down because of gravity. You won't go straight out. I mean, if you have a lot of them in one in like rapid succession, I guess you could do that if you like. Let's say you're doing um like an automatic weapon. What you want to do is you want to get it lined up just right. And if that's too fast for you and you want the bullet in your front in your video more, you can always um um add more keyframes like just drag the um I see let's just I, I look right right here it's a little slow so I drag it to more keyframes like to more frames and so there's you know it stays in the shot a little bit longer maybe move this up a little bit and then I want to maybe move it a tiny bit more I mean it, it's all on your personal preference so what what you're using it for and how you like the shot and then what you want to do is you want to hit the motion blur like that, that's the little button down there I forgot to mention it's it looks like you know it has like a blurry little motion down the left hand corner it's checked in the little box in right next to the we got the bullet shell footage and what it does is it blurs it and so it looks like it's actually in your shot like it look it it sells the effect so to speak um and that's pretty much how you do it I mean I don't know I don't shouldn't add anymore else because that's pretty much it um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just, you know, PM me or just write, write in the comments. Um, more, more videos to come, tutorials, test films, all that fun stuff. 